Hey guys, it's Brody. Before we get into the video, I've got some announcements I want to make, including the big announcement I've been talking about recently. But if you want to skip all this and get straight to the video, you can do that by going to this time. So here's the big news. I am now sponsored by thecubicle.us. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how or why, but this new sponsorship means that I have a lot of amazing opportunities and you guys are going to get some cool stuff too. From now on, if you're going to order from thecubicle.us, use discount code BRODYTHECUBER at checkout for 5% off of your order. Once again, the code is BRODYTHECUBER for 5% off at thecubicle.us. Before we get into the video, make sure to join the Brody Bunch by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you won't miss anything from now on. Now let's get back to the video. So here's the box. I know one of the things that's in it, but I'm not sure if there's more. There very well might be. So let's get into it and find out. So I knew that they were going to send me a polymer coated GTS2M, which is what I think this is. But they also sent me this 2x2, which is clearly angstrom, but I'm not sure what kind of 2x2 it is. I have no clue what's in this box. And they also sent me this Moyu lube, which I've never heard of, but I'm curious to try that in a little bit. But actually, first, let's get into this 2x2. Okay, and it comes with this cubicle stand. I still have no clue what this is, actually. But let's open it up and try it. I'm actually going to need to uh, contact some people in a little bit and figure out what this is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it's clearly angstrom. It's clearly magnetic. Not sure what kind of 2x2 two two this is. Doesn't feel too bad. It feels a little bit slippery right now, but that's just some of the lube on the outside. I'll have to do some solves on this and see what I think. Okay, now let's open up the 3x3. Three three. Once again, it comes with the stand. And I think this is the polymer-coated GTS-2M. So, let's do some first turns on it. Ooh. That's interesting. It's fast, but it's not, like, slippery. That's really interesting. And that feels way different than my GTS-2, but that might be because it's not magnetic or for many other reasons. But that's pretty nice. Okay, that's nice. I like that. I'm going to do some solves on that in a little bit, but first let's get into that mystery package. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. And this, this is a 5x5 five five of some sort. Would this be a Wu Shuang? I'm not sure. But I actually needed a new 5x5, five five, so I'm not complaining. That's pretty nice. Ooh. That's like. That's not dry, but that's fast. That's going to take some getting used to, but I like that. That's pretty neat. So, I'm going to do some solves on all these puzzles, and I'll get back to you with what I think. 
Hey guys, it's me again, except with a lot more sunburn than before. I'm going to do sort of a mini review of everything I got in this package. So let's start with the shirts. The Cupel sent me three shirts. A wireframe RGB split one, a wireframe teal one, and a black cube with us one. And all of them are very comfortable. My personal favorite is the one I'm wearing, but they're all very nice, and you'll see me wearing this one throughout the video. Next up, the Moyu Lubes. These aren't publicly available yet, but I think they will be in the near future. The lube has two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is a traditional silicone lube, except in my opinion it has one major flaw. It's really, really runny. I put some in a UA shell to test it out, and within one solve, my fingers and the entire outside of the cube were covered in the lube. Along with that, I didn't notice a significant difference in the feel of the cube. Type 2 is a thin water-based lube. It makes your cube a lot faster, but this effect is extremely temporary, making it very similar to Maru lube. I did notice, however, that it gave one of my Valk 3s a very nice feel when I added about 4 drops. So overall, neither of those lubes was particularly amazing. I did like Type 2 better than Type 1, but I didn't love Type 2. It turns out that the 2x2 I got was an Angstrom Waypo M, and I really like it. It has the exact same smooth feel as a regular Waypo, except with magnets and the tiniest bit of gumminess. This is my first magnetic 2x2 and it makes a huge difference. My main 2x2 is an old plastic Dian 2x2, and although it's pretty good, it's not great, and I've gotten several pops on it in competition. But this cube gives me the confidence to turn as fast as I want without worrying about pops or lockups. This cube is also the perfect speed for my turning. The only issue I've had with this cube is that the corners start to separate a little bit sometimes, but that's really easy to fix because you can just push them back together. So overall, I really like this cube, and I love using it. The Angstrom Waypo M is my new 2x2 main, and it makes me enjoy 2x2 more than I have in a long time. The 5x5 that I got was an Angstrom Wushuang M. I actually haven't gotten a new 5x5 since 2016, believe it or not. The 5x5 that I've competed with since then was a Moyu Weichuang, so this cube is automatically my main and a very nice upgrade. But how good is it? Well, the cube has a very nice speed that works really well with the way I turn. When you combine that with the magnets that make turning accurately way easier, lockups are way less common than on any other 5x5 I have. The outer layers feel very nice and smooth, and the inner layers feel a tiny bit dry. My favorite thing about this cube, though, is that I haven't gotten a single 5x5 lockup on it. I'm sure that's common with modern 5x5s, but I really appreciate not having to waste several seconds for something like that. So with this cube, reduction is less of a pain, 3x3 stage is a breeze, and 5x5 is fun again. I love this cube. I'm already averaging a few seconds faster than before, and I'm very excited to see what kinds of results I can get with this cube. The polymer-coated GTS-2M is really, really, really fast. It's so fast that even though it has magnets, I have to use a lighter turning style than I'm used to in order to not lock up, but that's not a problem. The polymer coating also makes the plastic feel a lot harder than the plastic of my other GTS-2. In fact, it actually reminded me a lot of the GTS-1 in terms of the plastic, which is a very good thing. This cube doesn't have much of a feel, the pieces mainly just glide over each other. As you would expect with any cube these days, the corner cutting is top notch. Overall, the performance of this cube is extremely momentum based, meaning if you're turning and looking ahead well, this cube will help you a lot and never lock up, but if you start to struggle, the raw speed will make you lock up more. Another thing I'd like to note is that PLLs flow really nicely on this cube, and I probably have faster PLLs with this than with any other cube. Overall, I'm a big fan of the polymer-coated GTS-2M. While I was testing it out, I actually got a new PB average of 5, 682, which is awesome. I don't know if it will be my main yet though. My main concern is that it will be too fast for me when I'm nervous at a competition, and I'm not sure I want to add any lube or anything that might mess it up. So that's what I think of everything I got. Thank you so much to thecubicle.us for sending me this stuff and for sponsoring me. If you want to help me show them that sponsoring me was a good choice, you can go check out their store. I've linked everything that I can that was in this video in the description. And remember, when you check out, you can use discount code BRODYTHECUBER for 5% off. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video with a friend. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Brody, signing out.